Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to Mario Party DS last time we took on Kamix library today We are gonna be taking on the fifth board of the story mode Bowser's pinball machine The half pint heroes have finally arrived in Bowser's lair. Look at these smug turtles, dude They're just sitting there while we're a little scrawny tiny ants walking around their castle while they're just you know doing their I guess kingly thing and they're they're kings and princes i guess there's just one problem and the rush to bash bowser they forgot how we they are oh that's definitely something that you shouldn't forget you know welcome back small fries want to party some more definitely bowser what do you got going on at your place everything goes dark for our heroes what's happening uh-oh it's a pinball machine check out my pinball machine no one's got better games than me Watch me play, Dad. I'm the big pinball pro in these parts. Actually, Mario has better games than you, Bowser, so... Therefore, you proved yourself wrong, buddy. Okay, kid. Let's see these... Or, let's see these insects try to survive. I'll squash their superstar. So that is it, guys. Welcome to Bowser's Pinball Machine, the final board of this game. Before we begin, do me a favor and drop a like on this video. Let's see if we can exceed 1,000 likes. That would be incredibly awesome if we can. Here we go, we get to choose our blocks. I rolled a five. Wow, I'm still in last place, even though five is like about halfway. It's, it's literally 50% of the numbers you can get. I mean, it's like at the 50% mark, I guess, of in terms of being highest or lowest, you know what I mean? That's what I'm trying to say, but we are last again. I'm pretty sure the last board that we played, I was also last as well. So, I mean, it just could be a thing for me that I'm always gonna get last whenever I play this game. So the first star, wow, is all the way up there. Now, the thing about this board is I'm not really sure what the gimmick is. I feel like because it's a pinball board, it's gonna just, you know, switch up every here and there. But if that's the case, then yeah, I mean, everybody has the same advantage. If not, then whoever rolls the highest numbers will definitely have the upper advantage. So can you, can you pick me, please? Pick me, pick me, pick me. Why does she pick Wario? Dude, Wario's the bad guy. Mario's the good guy. Pick me. We both had equal amount of coins. Man, the computers will never attempt for you to win. I mean, it's kind of a good thing, honestly. And at the same time, it does get a little annoying here and there. Oh, uh, pick me, please. Pick me. Pick me. Yes! Thank you, man. I'm pretty sure the way it works is if there's two people in last place, for example, me and a computer, the computer will always pick the computer. But if the computer isn't in last place, or there isn't a computer in last place, and I'm the one in last place, they're bound to pick me. That's just how it works. So, let's see. What happens if I go up? Uh, it will not... I don't know if it will take me to the star. They're, what are they doing? They're going around for some reason. If I go up, I'll actually be closer to the star. Okay, let's go up, man. I mean, I don't know why these guys aren't going up, but I'm definitely not going to question. Wait, what am I doing here? Tap the spinner. See if you're a winner. Okay. Uh, I'm, am I a winner, spinner? Oh, I got to click A. Too bad. Better luck now. What am I winning? <laughs> I wish they were a little more uh, a little more clear with the instructions here, but nonetheless, it's all good because I have 18 coins putting me in second place. Wario apparently has 20 coins. I oh, yeah, because he got five coins from... Daisy, and then another five coins because he landed on that space. Race to the finish in your winded up car. You'll have to wind it up often because driving the car and across uh, obstacles will lose up its power. So Y and A to steer. So I guess left and right, and then the stylus to wind it up. So it, it makes perfect sense, I guess. Here we go. Well, we got a race. This is the bootlegged Mario Kart. All right, let's let's wind this thing up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, get out of my way. Get out of my way, dude. Seriously? Oh, it stopped. Okay, here we go. Dude, get out of my way! Oh my gosh, this is so bad. I'm literally stuck with Daisy, dude. This is so bad. I'm gonna lose this. I'm gonna lose this game. All because Daisy had to sabotage me hardcore. Like, if it weren't for Daisy, I'd be up there in front with Wario and the gang. But look at him. He won the game. With this little green car. That's one ugly car, Wario. It does not suit you whatsoever, but... Wow, 30 coins, man. I'm not... I would be lying if I said I wasn't jealous of that. Good for you, man. Go Toad. All right, let's see what Toad's about to do. He rolled a 9. All right, he's headed my way. And I want to see if he's going to win because I'm interested to see what the prizes are. He didn't win anything, so... Which way is he at? He got the 10 coin hex. 
Pretty nice, dude. Very good haul. He's gonna go this way. Oh, clearly because this is where the star is. Oh, but now he landed in the cannon. Being sent all the way back to the red zone. Wow, that really sucks for you, man. At least I don't have to worry about him accidentally, you know, getting the star. But, I mean, even then, he didn't have as many coins to buy the star. I'm pretty sure it's going to cost 20 coins. I don't think they specified exactly how much the star is in this uh, board. But we're going to assume it's just 20 coins. Now, he rolled a four. Oh, man, Big Honcho Wario is going to buy a couple double dice sets. Oh, no, just the one? All right. Wow, that's pretty smart, you know. Oh! Oh, that would suck, being flung right after the star space. <laughs> but I mean, hey, at least he has the advantage at getting the star now. So we're going to go ahead and drop this coin hex somewhere. I'm probably going to put it, like, right here. I feel like it's a pretty decent spot. And then we rolled a six. We're going to go this way. Um, ooh, wow, that was pretty close. I almost almost landed on the same exact space that toad landed on that wouldn't have been good because then we both we both would have ended up you know not being able to get the star but here we go race to the finish by alternating the pedals the faster you do so the faster you'll go and any direction a b x y up uh, any button oh press right pedal okay so this is how you okay okay i think i got it i think i got it all right here we go Oh, it's another one. It's another racing game, dude. I'm not really, I'm not really crazy about racing games. Wait, what am I doing? What? Okay, I don't, I legit don't get this. Does it want me to do both of them? I think it wants me to do, oh, it wants me to do both. Think about it. Oh, this is so easy. I thought I actually had to control the thing. Wow, I almost let myself lose this because I literally thought I almost had to control the thing. But that's not what it is. You literally just got to click these two pedals as quickly as you possibly can. And I won. Perfect. Oh, that would have sucked so bad if one of these guys won. Because then I would have missed out again on 10 coins. But Mario wins. Oh, actually, this is not good for me, though. Because now that I think about it, Wario does have a double dice. That is not good. So, right now, the only threat that I have would definitely just be Wario, considering that not only is he the richest one of us, but he also has the double dice block, which is bad, because then if he does score a high number, he can actually roll around to get to the star. As far as I could tell, he doesn't really need that high of a number. Like, he probably needs maybe a 10 and something else. Um, and then he'd probably be at the start. Daisy, oh, Daisy's just barely about to make it. I think she's going to land on one of the green spaces, which is definitely good for me. Yeah, she's going to land on a green space. This is awesome. So she's going to, oh, she learned. She knows she's not going to get sent back. She doesn't want to get sent back, guys. All right, what about you, Wario? What are you going to roll, big dude? He rolled a 1 and a 9, a 10. I don't know if 10's going to cut it, but definitely a good effort from Wario trying to get to the star. Ah, uh, I mean, this is just, you know, crazy. I'm, like, right there at the star. If I do not roll a high enough number, then I'm screwed. Oh, he's going to get flung back. Oh, yeah, perfect. Only Daisy could also get flung back. That would have been legit, but too bad. So I have 30 coins. Imagine if the star itself is, like, pretty pricey. That'd be crazy. Oh, 20 coins. Not bad. Okay, so we'll go ahead and grab it. Pick it up for 20 coins. Now, I have a star, so that means I'm in the lead, and I have the upper advantage at this. And the next star, wow, it's actually close to Wario. So, I mean, the question is, do I even bother trying to get there? I don't know, but I'm going to head to hit the shop for sure. And I'm going to buy one of these double dice for sure because I need one. I'm going to wait, too, till the end of the game. Um, and then I'm going to buy... A warp star thing just taking me to the star itself I just gotta focus on winning these mini games now now that I'm in the lead for sure but it's gonna be a battle Ooh, so everybody's gonna pay some coins six coins for a poll of 24 coins let's find out which mini game we're gonna play do star catcher star catcher star catcher yes star catchers I think that's the one yep where you click the stars dude I rule at this one I rule at this. I love this minigame so much. All right, here we go. Start. Mine. These guys don't even stand a chance. They really think they're going to count stars as quickly as I can. I mean, technically, I should have also got that one, but unfortunately, I just let Wario get it. Kind of sucks, but it is what it is. You can't get them all. 
Oh, I saw that. You saw that shooting star, guys? That was pretty quick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Stop it, guys. They're actually... They get better, like, towards the end of it, for sure. Like, I'll give them that. Oh. There we go. Definitely have the most. And there's even two that are just kind of untapped. So... Daisy clocked out at 4, Wario clocked out at 5, Toad clocked out at 8, and I clocked out at 26. Is that a new record? I don't think so. La the first time I did it, I did just really, really well. I don't know how, but I'm not going to complain. I did super, super awesome. And I got the total of 15 coins, so 5 more than the usual. It does kind of suck when battle mini games like this happen, just because second place also gets a lot of coins. Like, you guys saw it was a total of 24 to the poll. Uh... Or the pool of coins, and then Toad still got almost 10. So it's like he won the mini game. Turn number four. All right, here we go, Toad. Let's see what you got, man. He rolled a five. He's going to go ahead and play this game. Is he going to win? Is he going to win? He didn't win. I don't understand what this game is, but clearly he didn't win. He got one star hex. It's kind of weird because every turn that you play this, the game always changes, like whether you get a star hex or a coin hex. And obviously, Toad's going to give his coins to Daisy. Now, Daisy only has 12 coins, so she, well, I guess now 17, so she's not really much of a threat. Plus, she doesn't really have any items to get her going, except for whatever that item is. She got a 5, she's going to land, I think, where I'm at, or one space above me. So she can either choose to go left or straight. I bet she's going to go after the star. She bought a double dice, of course. Yep, she's going to go after the star. Now, Wario here is guaranteed to get that star, because not only does he have a double dice, but he's, like, very, very close to the star, so knowing him... He's going to, of course, use this double dice, roll some pretty high numbers, make his way all the way down, buy the star for 20 coins. Kind of stinks, but, you know, I really hope the star spawns near me now. That would be awesome. Where is it going to spawn next? It's always the exciting part. Ooh, that is, like, right there, man. That's, like, up my alley, man. I could just go ahead and pick it up real quick. And my boy, Wariuta. Oh, you activated my coin hex, my boy. Give me your coins, brother. Give them all to Mario. I got them all. You're welcome. <clears throat> See, I knew that was a very good placement for the for the star hex or for the coin hex. But you still got three coins nonetheless back, so he didn't really lose much. Now, let me see. How many spaces is this thing away? It's legit two spaces. I just need to get, like, more than a one. I got a ten. Nice. All right, we're going to go ahead and pick up this star for 20 coins, obviously, because I love me some stars. So now we have two stars, and let's see where the next star is going to be at. It spawned all the way down there. All right, so thankfully Wario is heading north. Um, I got 10 coin hex. Let's see. If I go this way, what would happen? One, two, three, four, five, six. Three. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go this way. Let's go this way. Oh, yeah. Five coins to one of my friends. Who is it going to be? I'm going to give it to... I'm going to give it to Toad since this guy already has, you know, enough coins to buy a star. You might as well just keep the, the, the last place at the bottom. Like, don't even try to help him out, honestly. But here we go. It's going to be a 2v2 minigame. Oh, I'm actually surprised that me and Wario aren't on the same team. I thought we were, considering that now we have uh, a star and we both got a star this turn. But here we go. We got this nice and clean mini game. Uh, we just gotta go really quick. Clearly, I'm gonna go fast, but my computer's gonna go extra slow just because they suck. All right, you good? There we go. He's good. Come on, Toad. You could do faster, man. I know Princess Peach puts you guys to work. Don't even give me that, dude. Just trying to pretend that he's tired and he can't do it. Look at that. We're literally using a ruler as like a stick to hold us both. But that was 18 seconds, so I guess I beat my old record. I don't even remember what my old record was, if it even registered it back it back then. But I got, again, I have 24 coins. Wow, that's pretty awesome. So, I mean, I could, I guess, go ahead and use my double dice. Maybe buy another double dice on my way, considering that I'll still have more coins. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, look at this guy. He flung all the way over there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Probably a, ba a bad thing for me because now he's closer to the star. Same thing with Daisy. She's going to use her double dice, of course. Dude, you don't even have coins. Oh, now she's going to get 10 coins as a bonus. Uh-oh, this is not good. 
How come they can roll like insanely high numbers like that, but I can never do it? No matter how hard I try, I can never do it. I hope she stops by a shop. I want her to spend her coins. Oh, she's going up? What? I don't get it. Did she get anything out of that? I don't think she did. Dang, she went up. I'm literally surprised that she actually decided to do that. So she tossed one of her things to get the star hex. One of these guys are banking on stealing a star from me. All right, Wario, what do you got, man? What are you made of, big boy? Oh, you're trying to get some revenge, big dog? Trying to place it on a red space, so not only do you, do you pay Wario taxes, but you also lose taxes to Bowser? That's pretty funny, man. That'd be cool if he landed on his own thing. That'd be nice. Now, him and Daisy are united. So now, I'm going to go ahead and use the double dice that I have. Actually, um, should I use this? I might as well try to use this somewhere. I feel like this space is pretty common for anyone to land on. Alright, oh, no, no, no. I can only use one item per turn. That sucks. Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy... Uh, I'll buy this. The double dice. Wait, what if I land... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to buy it again. I didn't want to buy it again, dude. Uh, can I sell it? Can I sell the item? I don't know if I could sell the item, honestly, but... Oh, well. Um, we're going to go this way. Oh, nonetheless, I still have 21 coins. So, it's going to be a 1v3 against Toad. If we can win this, that would be great. Let's see. Rotisserie Rampage. Oh, keep your balance so you don't fall off the rotisserie hunk of meat. If even one of you survive, you all win. This was actually kind of hard that it, when I played it the first time. So, I really hope my computers can help me out. Um, Alright, so we got to make sure that we don't accidentally die. Oh, everybody's gone, dude. That kind of sucks. That literally sucks. I don't... I can't even jump. That's right. Alright, I can't even jump. Oh, man. This is this is crazy. We can't let Toad win, guys. We can't let Toad win. It's, 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 it's not good that Toad can win. Oh, man. I gotta at least only... I gotta last it out for five seconds. This is... This would be the part where I die. Come on! Hey, man, that last five seconds felt like an eternity right there, dude. That was crazy. But you're welcome, Mario. You're welcome, Daisy. I don't even know why I'm helping you guys out. I'm only doing it for myself, honestly. But nonetheless, we did it, my friends. We have 31 coins. So now the final five frenzy. It's time for the final five frenzy. Let's see how you shrimp stack up. In first, Mario. In second, Wario. In third, Toad. Let's place Daisy. What's she gonna get? A star? Don't give her a star, please. Ha! Daisy's in last. She doesn't need help from you, man. Please. Please, Bowser. I beg you. Don't give her a hundred. You get ten coins from the others. All right. Well, that was a fun mini game. You know, now that I just gave her my coins. Not only did I help her win ten coins, but now I'm giving her ten coins. So she just racked up 30 free coins like candy. That sucks. But hey, you know, at least I got my double dies. That's that's all that matters, you know. My boy Chode here is, is trying to get a star really bad. He's trying his best. Uh, what is she going to do? She's going to steal from me, I bet you. She's going to steal from Wario. Nice. I was really expecting her to steal from me. That that just goes to show how, like, how much I really think of Daisy. Oh, uh, she rolled a one. Not bad. I'm actually happy. This makes me happy, dude. I love it when they waste turns rolling really low numbers. He rolled an 8. How far is that going to get him? Oh, that's not bad, you know. Up to where I'm at. You know, that's that's pretty good. I think he set off one of my items, though. Pretty sure he did. Yeah, he did, definitely. So now I get to steal 10 coins. Unfortunately, that was a waste, though, because he doesn't even have 10 coins. So, oh, well, at least I get three extra coins. Doesn't really hurt to have. And now, oh, he also gets three coins. Are you serious? What kind of what kind of bogusness is that? All right, here we go. We're going to roll some big numbers, please. Ooh, we got an eight. And we got an eight. And I get ten coins for that. I wish instead of giving you ten coins, they just let you roll a third time. That would have been nicer. I mean, for me, I would have preferred that, honestly. We got a 20 coin hack. So next time anybody lands on my space, I'm going to steal 20 coins from them. And then we're going to go this way. Oh, we set off a 10 coin hex. I'm sorry, Chode. Go ahead, take my coins. I guess he knew that was a pretty good placement. But hey, nonetheless, I still have two good items. And I can easily get that star in the next round. Oh, I found a hidden block. 
Please tell me it's a star. Please tell me it's a star. Please tell me it's a star. Oh, it's not a star. I wish. I love these hidden blocks that have stars in them. But it's just coins. 19 coins. Not bad. I'll take it. That's definitely pretty good for me. And we got an extra three just for landing on this space. So here we go. Another four-player mini game. What is it going to be? Call of the Goombas. Or of the Goomba, rather. Listen to the tempo of the intro tune. Then try to crank and recreate that speed as uh, closely as possible. The better you do, the more Goombas you'll lure. Okay. Oh, so we got to do... Okay, so I got to listen for this. Dun, dun, dun. Dude, I have so many Goombas. Apparently, I'm doing it the right way. I don't know how I'm doing it, guys, but it's working. The whole entire forest is behind. Oh, actually, no. My boy Chode here came through. What is he going to do? What is he going to get? 22? Are you serious? He barely beat me, man. This dude Toad barely beat me. He is rolling in them coins. Actually, not really. Daisy is 65 coins ahead of it. She has 65 coins, and apparently he has a lot of coins as well, but it doesn't seem like it. And he rolled a two. Ha ha, sucker. Get flung, my boy, all the way up there where the rats are. All right, what do we got, Daisy? What are you going to do? She's going to use one of her star hexes. Dude, I don't want to go back up there. Like, I, I really don't. If I could get this star, I'll be good. Like, I won't even bother trying to get any more stars. Just because I highly doubt anyone else is going to get any stars. She got the star pipe. Okay, she's obviously going to get a star. She tossed the stars. Oh, no. I was going to say, what? You bought the star pipe just to toss it? That doesn't make any sense, woman. But last four turns. Wario, what are you going to get? He's going to use his double dice, of course. He's going to get a five and an eight, bringing him to 13. He's going around for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe he's trying to hit the store again. I, I honestly feel like that's my, that might be Yeah, I don't know what was that for. Like, why did you do that? Legit, what is wrong with you, Wario? What was that about? Like, seriously, man. All right, here we go. We're going to use a double dice just to secure this star. All right, what did we get? A six. And we got a 10, so that's 16. Um, no, I don't want to enter the item shop. I, however, do want to buy the star for 20 coins. Now, I hope that I can carry my way to the next star just by the amount of spaces that I have. Oh, that's all the way up there. I mean, technically, I can, sort of. Actually, wait. 13. Dude, I might actually be able to get all the way up there. Uh, Let's go ahead and hit this. Tap to see if you're a winner. Ah, better luck next time. All right. Seven, ooh, six, five, four, three, two, one. Dang it, I'm literally one space off. I'm legit just one teeny tiny space off. That would have been perfect though, because then I would have been able to buy the, uh, the thing again, and then I would have had four stars. But I'll just leave it for one of these guys because, I mean, it looks to me like it's either going to be Daisy that's going to get it because Toad is, like, really far off. So, yeah, I don't care. Daisy is obviously going to use her stupid war pipe anyways in the next turn. So, it's not like it matters. Shoot as many scuttlebugs as you can. Golden ones are worth three points. You and your partner split the aiming. Okay, yeah, we did this one before. I don't know how I did it last time, but I hope that this time around it also works out pretty nicely. All right, uh, let's go, Daisy, come on. Daisy, let's go down. How come we can't go down? I, I don't know, I can't go down, dude. I can't aim it down. I legit don't know how to aim it down. I legit am struggling, guys. There we go. Okay, let's go up, let's go up, let's go up. It's still, it's, Daisy, let's go up, let's go up. Okay, did we win? We didn't win. These guys won. Dang it. They got a total of nine, and we only got seven. Still, nonetheless, that's still all right, because, I mean, I'm definitely way far ahead of these guys. I doubt within two turns or three turns, these guys will be able to turn it around in such a way that I lose. Last three turns. Here we go. All right, Toad, what do you got, man, for us? You're going to go ahead and get yourself a double die, a triple dice set. I forgot these things even existed. 
And he bought himself a star pipe. Dude, he is desperate for a star, man. These guys are all desperate for a star. So they're all ready to you. Oh, no. Don't duel me. He's going to duel me. He's going to duel me. Yep. If it's coins, that would be great. I'll take your coins. Nope, it's a star. He doesn't even have a star to duel. My god, this sucks. And it's Cyber Scamper. The worst minigame for dueling, straight up. Legit, I hate this minigame. I did it last time and it sucked. But I guess this game really wants me to lose a star, so... I can understand where they're coming from. They're gonna just throw these stupid dual minigames at me and they're gonna force you to play this. Cause like, oh, you know what, man? We gotta make sure that, you know, he loses his stars. So that way Toad can be in the lead. Cause you know, we all love Toad. All right, go ahead. Just let him, let him fall, please. Let him fall. Let, let the dude fall. Don't you dare jump on my head like that, dude. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? All right, we gotta go this way real quick. All right, we, I won this. I won this! Did I win this? I actually don't know who won it. Who won it? Who won? Please be me. Please be me. Mario and Toad win. So that means nobody gets the star. Sucker. Suck on that, Toad. It's a wager, man. All right. It's a tie. So that means nobody gets the star. I guess I keep my star, rather. I wasn't going to give it away for free while Toad gave me nothing. Good thing it was a tie, though, because I, I, I was expecting a little something in return, you know? But Daisy got her first star. I hope she's happy. Where's the next star coming at? It's over to there. Now, let's see. Hmm. Would I be able to reach it or not? Probably not, honestly. So I don't even know if it's worth using the double dice. Is she going to buy another one? No, she didn't. She just bought a triple set for seven. Hmm. I, I, I bet she's trying to get her second star now. Wheel of Wonder, take a chance. She got four coins out of that. Not bad. All right, Wario, what is your big game plan, buddy? He's going to go ahead and roll a five. And actually, that's not good for him because he's either going to land on the red space or the toad space. So either way, you set off a star hex. Dude, this boy toad's going to have two stars now. This is no-no for me. This is not good. I should probably use my star hex too. I'll probably throw it somewhere up, you know, or near the star, just, you know, on the off chance Daisy does get it. All right, let's see. Let's go ahead and use this item real quick. Uh, I'm going to toss it like right here. That's pretty good. All right, we got a 10. What if I landed on it? Like what would happen if I landed on my own hex space? I'm going to go north. I have a feeling that the stars are going to be up like north next time okay so it's gonna be a four player mini game now let's see what it's gonna be head or hedge honcho race to the finish by throwing leaves off out of your path shoot off or shoot off the bugs with your stylus don't be or but don't touch the bees at all okay i'm having a hard time reading today here we go i remember this mini game it's pretty easy hedge honcho all right we gotta go quick they said, don't touch the bees. Just shoo them off. I guess. Or let them... Oh, come on. Go away. Ain't nobody got time for that bee. And then what was it with the with the ladybug? What was I supposed to do specifically? I don't remember. Oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Come on, 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 come on. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, they made it, they made it, they made it, they made it to the end. Man, I got I got hit by a stupid bee, and that thing threw me off. Yep, Toad finished it, of course. He is a computer, man. Obviously, he's going to finish it and win 10 coins and have a second star at the end of this turn. I mean, it's just working out for this little dude. He's just having a grand old time. So Toad is obviously going to be using his war pipe to get to the star. Look at this cheap skate, man. I mean, I'd probably do the same thing for sure, so I'm not one to talk. But let's see. He bought the star for 20. And I wonder where it's going to spawn next. Because if it spawns over where Daisy's at, that's going to kind of suck. Because then Daisy's going to be able to get... Ooh, that's actually pretty convenient. It spawned right next to me. So I don't really have to travel too far to get it. But 
I really oh unless Toad's gonna make it there again. Oh no 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 Toad's not gonna make it there. That would really stink if he did. Oh no, he might actually make it there. One no he's not. He's gonna be one space away. Oh he's gonna land on the Wario thing! Ten coin hex you set off, my boy. Give ten coins to Papa Wariota. Can Wario reach that? Unless he rolls really high numbers. I don't think he can reach that place, so. Ah, uh, he lost three coins as well. I mean, that's a pretty good place to put one of those. All right, Daisy, what are you going to do? You're going to use your star hex as well. Everybody's trying to set off their star hexes. It sucks. Because it just makes you scared to land on anything. Because you don't know which spaces are going to screw you up. Oh, she landed all the way over there. All right, Wario, what are you going to do, big dog? What is your play going to look like? Last two turns. I wonder what he's going to do. He's going to use his two star hex. Dang, why are you placing it there, man? He's really trying to sabotage everyone. That's not good. And he almost landed on a dual space. And then I would have been the one that had to duel him, which would have really sucked. All right, here we go. Try to get some big numbers now. Big numbers, big numbers. There we go, 18. I just want to get out of this area, dude, completely. Like, it is not safe at all to be here. Ooh, what did I win? Oh, all right. I'll take these coins. 30 coins, my boy. All right, man. I will definitely enjoy these coins. And we got a two-star hex. All right, let's go this way. Yes, we are definitely buying that star for 20. Oh, and you know what I could do? I could probably go buy a war pipe that will take me to the star as well. The next star. Oh, my gosh. It is literally right there. It is literally right there. Oh, this is awesome. Yes, I will enter the item shop. Because these things only cost 15. So, yeah, we're going to buy it for 15. I have 24 coins. No, I don't want to buy another item. Screw you, man. I'm good. See you later, alligator. All right, I'm going to try to get as far away from here as possible. Uh, we're going to go this way. Let's see. Oh, I got a 10 coin hex. I don't want, I don't want it. You guys can keep it. All right. Oh. Dang it, that's no good. Is it going to send me to jail? Yep, the Bowser zone. Are you serious? What is the Bowser zone? I don't know what that means. But it's a 2v2 minigame now. And is it going to be air airbrushers? What is that, where you trace? No, it's not. You and your partner each take one wing as you flap towards floating coins, red coins. Okay, this is pretty good. Everybody's going to pretty much win this by getting coins and whatnot. All right, here we go. Start. Start. All right, so we got to flap our wings pretty high. Oh, go, go higher. There we go. Oh, we couldn't even get the double coins right there. Dude, we are winning this. Aw, oh, dang it. We skipped over three red coins? Dang, we suck. Me and Wario suck, man, as a team. But hey, at least we both got 18 coins out of that. So it's four, two, one, and zero. Is this the final turn, or is there one more turn after this? This is the last turn, guys. Everything comes down to this. So this boy here is about to use his nice and clean start thingamajig. And he's going to roll a four. So that's it for Toad, you know. Two stars, 49 coins. Pretty good way to end off this game. Daisy is also using her star thing as well. And she rolled herself a four. Ha, too bad you can't enter the shop. It's over. Where is she going to land? On a duel. She's going to duel me. I guarantee it. For a star. Watch. It's going to be a duel for a star. It's going to be one star. What did I tell you? I mean, hey, I'll gladly take your star, Daisy. I really hope it's not that stupid cyber scamper again. Okay, come on. Get the lead out. Dude, I got this one in the bag. Press A rapidly to extend the lead. That is my score. See, 23 meters and one inch, or 23 centimeters and one inch. That is me. All right, here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We are at the highest we can be. There we go. And let's see how far mine shoots and how far her shoots. Boom, sucker, 21 inches. As opposed to your 15. That's what you get. Don't ever battle me again. Stupid computer. Really thinking you can beat me, the expert player. Now I have five stars. Wait until the end of this. I'm going to have six. 
Last turn, Wario. All right, what are you going to do, big dog? What is your big play here? What is your big play? Oh, you're placing it right next to this thing? Okay. That makes sense. He's going to go that way. Oh, he's really trying to get the star. Look at him, dude. Ah, too bad, man. They're sending you off to the dead zone. See you later, man. Peace out, Wariota. All right, so now I'm apparently in some locked up place. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, but we're not going to worry about it. We're just going to use this war pipe. Buy ourselves the sixth star in the game. Pretty nice. I could have easily bought in one more. Who knows? What if it spawns next to me where I can buy it as well? Then I'd have seven stars. Oh, man, dude, they are joking. They got to be joking. They are literally kidding right now. I could easily hit that, I bet. But it's the final turn, so... Oh, my gosh. I can actually make it. Oh, my gosh. I can actually do it. I bought the star. I have seven stars, guys. This is crazy. I wasn't expecting this to happen. The next star is going to be over there. All right. You know, I would probably try to grab that one as well. But clearly... I don't have <laughs> any more coins. I'm broke. And it's a 2v2 minigame. What a way to end off this final board, guys. Seven stars and pretty much no coins. But this is definitely good. So whoever's on my team is guaranteed going to win. Oh, it's me and Toad again, except we're on the opposite sides of the, uh, of the books this time around. All right, here we go. We got to go quick. You got it, Toad? Come on, go faster, man. I believe in you. You can go quicker than that. They call you Toad, man. You're like Nabbit, sort of. I mean, he kind of is like Nabbit when you think about it. Well, not really. They're just weird creatures. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. We did it. We did it. We did it, guys. 18 seconds. Oh, no, we didn't. We did it in 19 seconds and 31. I, I kind of screwed up. I zoned out a little bit. But nonetheless, we have 15 coins, 7 stars. Therefore, putting us way far out there in the lead, which is amazing. I was not expecting this game to go this easy, so I'm definitely very happy about that. Uh, we got the spiky shell bumper. We also got the spotlight, um, and we have 1,797 Mario Party points. So this is it. Bwahaha, you're s so you're the bug that I get to squash, Mario. Then get ready for another shrinky serving for my minimizer. Ah, DK is here with Diddy Kong to stop everything. Hey, there's no food here, man. You got lied to. Hey! Oh, look at that, man. D dude, Diddy DK is pissed. Ooh! You broke the minimizer! No! Does that mean I, I turned back to normal? That's awesome. With the minimizer broken, Mario and the rest of the crew return to normal size. All right, Bowser, let's go. Hey, this party ain't over yet. I've got an even more secret weapon. What is it? Behold! The Mega Morph Belt, let me give you a taste of its power. Only the true superstar can put Bowser in his place once and for all. Okay, what is that machine? I don't know. Mario is the superstar. Using the power of the stars, Mario stands up to fight Bowser. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, they can only do five at a time? Wow. So my other two stars are just missing then. I might as well just put them in my shoes or something. What's up, Bowser? This is definitely a really fun Mario Party game. Okay, avoid Bowser's attacks after he transforms into Blockhead Bowser. Then wait for your chance to strike his golden weak spot. Move, A, B, just jump, A, B, kick, A, hit the ground, LR camera, change view. Okay, so I mean, overall, I pretty much understand it. This is it. It's like Super Mario 64 style. What's up, Bowser? Okay, I got this great gadget for our final fight. Cower before the power of my new Megamorph belt. Here we go. Oh, man, dude, this guy was mega evolving back before Pokemon X and Y was even out. He is now a block. That is your super awesome mega transformation. You turned yourself into a block. The only way to defeat him in this form is to attack his weak spot. And the weak spot is that golden Bowser block. Watch where the block uh, or the Bowser block is and try to hit it with a kick or punch. Brace yourself, Mario. Start. All right, here we go. Um, oh, man, I got to watch out for these things. Okay, so I'm just going to look at the uh, the top screen just to kind of get a good idea as to where this thing is at all times. Uh, and I definitely got to wait for it to slow down before I can start brutally attacking it. Um, is it going to stop anytime soon? Oh, there we go. It's finally slowed down. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. 
Wow, I accidentally jumped instead of kicked. I should have punched it with B. I thought it was A, and that's why I kind of didn't actually attack it right away, but... Ooh, nonetheless, we are still avoiding all of this stuff, which is pretty good. Is he slowing down anytime soon? Dude, this guy does not slow down. He doesn't know how to slow down. He's just way too crazy. Bowser, you are making me dizzy just by looking at you, man. All right, here we go. Oh, man, I lost half a heart for that. There we go. That is the first heart down. Now he's remorphing. Oh, okay. I'll go ahead and hit this. There we go. That is... What? That was it? Man, are you serious? Oh, you know, I'll take it, dude. I'm not going to complain. All right. That is not what I wanted to happen. Oh, man. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Don't get, don't get, don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. Don't get cocky. I can't adjust this thing. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. All right, here we go. Oh, this is not good. Yo, I did it! Oh my gosh! Dude, I've been spending the last 20 minutes trying to do this. Like, that last hit is such a stupid hit, but I think I got it. Like, you have to hit it from the front. Because if you don't, then the blasts are going to come at you from every way, and it really sucks. But wow, that was pretty frustrating. 20 minutes of my life spent trying to beat this dude. And now we locked up these two phonies. Go ahead, rot in jail for all I care. Nobody cares about you and your stupid crystal shards. Anyways, that is pretty much going to be it, guys, for this episode. Don't worry. There's still going to be some more content on this game. We're going to try to do the mini games and all the other good stuff. Maybe there will even be a multiplayer video of some sort. I don't really know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I think after this, the credits are about to play. So, whoa. It's a 3DS. Look at that, man. It's, uh, we unlocked the triangular twister. I don't know what that is, man, but I guess we got to figure it out in the next episode. So, what does that mean? How could a bunch of pathetic peewees get all the, the, the sky crystals? You know what, man? You're a clown, Bowser. See you later, alligator. Uh, you want me to play with you? Dude, we don't want you to play with us. Relax. What the heck? And so our hearty band of partiers grew bigger than ever. The more the merrier. From that day forward, Mario and the crew enjoyed the biggest parties around. Wow. And they had their feast. Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong are excited. They had their food, man. And thus ends our adventure with Mario and the party. So anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let the credits roll. And I will see you guys later for more Mario Party DS. Peace out.